everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kathy. If you are new here, thanks so much for stopping by. If we've painted together before, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Today's video is on how to paint leaves. Today we have a heart-shaped leaf and we have a wiggle leaf. So let's take a look at the supplies we'll be using and then we will jump right in. So we have two colors of paint today that we're using. We have Wicker White and Classic Green. These are folk art multi-surface paints. This is not an endorsed video. These are just the paints that I've used for years. I love them and um, I know they work well with this method of painting. So I like to share that with you guys, the supplies that I use. So those are those. Now the multi-surface paint is wonderful because no matter what surface you're painting on, whether it's glass or wood or tin or a canvas, multi-surface will work for you. It's got a little bit of a sealer in it. It's just a really nice paint. It's a little bit thicker than a lot of the craft paints that you find out there. Highly recommend. It's great for no matter what you're doing. We have two brushes we're using today. We have a number 12 flat brush and a number one liner brush. And we will talk about um, how to get the paint on the brush and the strokes that we use. And we'll practice all of that together. I'm gonna scooch this out of the way. And we also have our styrofoam plate. This is our paint palette, our very fancy paint palette, where our little blobs of paint will go. I already have our paint on there. And you guys, as you're putting it on your plate, usually about the size of a quarter, you can always add more if you need to, but that's a good place to start as far as how much paint on your plate. Off to the side, we also have a brush basin. That's just to rinse my brushes. And then here on the table, we have wax paper. So whether you're painting with me in person um, at one of my events or if we're painted together on YouTube, I always have wax paper. It's what I use at home to practice on. So it's a nice smooth surface. It just, it's a very economical way to have a, a practice surface to paint on. So I appreciate that about that too. Off to the side here, I do have just some paper towels. Those are close by. And that is about it. So let's um, take a look at what these leaves look like and then we will get started. So here is just a little stemless wine glass I have and you can kind of see the heart shape. So we have a heart shape leaf and then we have a wiggle leaf, both of which are this same shape. Um, just one you wiggle and one you don't. So I'm gonna show you that as we go through, but that's just kind of an example there um, on a little stemless wine glass. I also have a little wooden sign here. If you've seen my sunflower video, these are the leaves that go along with the sunflower video. In the sunflower video, we painted the flower, and now here is the follow-up with the wiggle leaves, so you'll get to see those too. All right, so let's practice. Let's grab our number 12 flat brush, and we are going to talk about double loading, and that is just how you put basically two colors of paint on one brush. All right, so we are gonna start with our brush straight up and down, and I'm going to dip one half or one corner, one half in the green and the other half in the white. And then this space in between is what we call a blending spot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it towards you and push away and towards you and push away, okay? And we're going to do that probably three or four times, okay? That you're creating what's called a blending spot. Okay, you can kind of see the green is by the green and the white is by the white. And what we're doing is working paint up into the brush. Okay, and that's why we're going to do that probably three or four times, you guys. Can you see, you want your brush pretty goopy. You want a lot of paint on this brush. Probably the thing I see most often when people are starting this method is that we don't have enough paint on the brush to do the stroke. So you'll get kind of halfway through and then you run out of paint and then it doesn't look like um, what you want it to look like. So having enough paint on this brush, half the battle. The other half is learning the stroke. So we're gonna do that together. Okay, like we said, probably three or four. Gosh, I think I probably did five or six times, but a lot of paint on the brush. Now I'm just gonna set this over. You guys will feel when you need to pick up some more paint. So every time you do, you'll do just what we just did. You'll go to your plate, dip each corner and blend every time you have to pick up paint, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with just the basic heart shape first, and then we will add the wiggle, because the wiggle is like a little, little, little extra step you gotta do there. So let's talk about how to build this leaf, okay? We are gonna have our brush straight up and down. In this case, your green is gonna be on top. As we're building these leaves, we're gonna shoot for having the green on the outside, and I'll show you what, the, what that means as we're going, okay? Now, the best way to start this leaf is I want you to take this brush and I want you to tap a V. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna lean this brush a little bit to the left and tap a line. And then I'm gonna lean it a little bit to the right and tap a line. 
okay? And I know it's tiny on here as we're doing this, but it'll all make sense. So you can see the V, okay? That is gonna be the top of your leaf. See how there's a V? When you're starting it, there's a V, okay? So this is kind of our guide on where to start. Now, with just a heart-shaped leaf, you're gonna start, your white is gonna be the center of the leaf and your green is gonna be on the outside. So you're gonna touch, you're gonna lay down this brush, you're gonna slide as you rotate. We're pulling down, pulling down. And as I'm coming to the bottom of the leaf, I lift up. Okay, so here's where that green is rotated to the outside. And as I'm getting down to the bottom, I lift up. So you start up top, but you guys will notice your brush rotates all the way down. So now the green is pointing towards me. Okay, does that make sense? We start up here, we rotate around. That white doesn't really move from the center. I mean, it slides down as you're pulling that leaf, but it pretty much stays to the middle. It's only the green, the outside that's rotating. Okay, so let's do another side here, okay? And you guys saw I went back to my paint, picked up paint, because I can tell I was running out of paint as I did that first stroke. So I jumped over here, dipped each corner, swish, come back. Okay, so now our green is on top. Remember, we're starting at this side of the V, okay? I'm gonna lay that brush down. I'm gonna curve around. Now I'm sliding down. It's hard because I'm trying to go slow so you guys can see, but the white is next to the white on the center. So I'm sliding down and I'm rotating towards myself and lifting up so we come to that point, okay? So there is our heart. We'll talk about stems here in a little bit. We're not worrying about stems right now. We're just worrying about the leaf. Okay, I'm gonna come back, pick up some more paint. So I have a nice, fresh, goopy paint brush. And remember each time you just blend in that same blending spot, okay? Every time you come back, come back to the spot. We do not wanna create a new blending spot every time we come back. You don't wanna paint this plate. Every time you come right back to the same spot, okay? Because our goal is to load the paint up in the brush, not paint our plate. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do another leaf here. So remember how we started. We started with our V. I'm gonna angle this one out just a little bit so you can have a different perspective. Okay, so there's our V. Green is on top, white is closest to you. I'm gonna line up with that right-hand side of the V, lay that brush down, and you see how these bristles really poof out a little bit. That's how you're gonna get that shape. You're gonna start rotating around, start sliding towards you, lift up, lift up, and you end up on the edge of the brush. So the green, member was on top. It rotated around the edge as you're sliding, now the green is closest to your body. All right, doing the same thing, coming over, just grabbing some fresh paint. I'm coming back to the left-hand side of the V. So I'm gonna line up my brush with that edge that we, or that little thing we, that the V that we tapped. I'm gonna squish that brush down, rotate it around. Now the green's coming around the outside, rotating it around, sliding as I lift up and I end up on that edge. Okay, we're gonna do one more here just so you can kind of get a feel. Coming over to my paint, reloading. All right, I'm gonna start my V here because I want this angled a little bit this way. Okay, so it's just a tap and a tap. You don't have to paint or move or draw, just a tap and a tap to get that V. Okay, green is on top. I'm gonna swish down, Rotate it around. You see the green is on the outside of the edge. Now I'm sliding down towards me. As I'm sliding, I lift up and I come to a point. And that's where, once I get this point, I lift up. Okay. Let's do the other side. Green on top, it's on the outside. I'm gonna lay the brush down. Start sliding as you're rotating it around. The green's coming around. I'm turning, turning as I'm lifting to come back to where we ended, okay? So, I'm gonna wipe off my brush here a little bit just to get a fresh, I'm not rinsing, I'm just kind of wiping it off so we can get a fresh layer of paint on here. And there's nothing wrong with that, you guys. I do that several times as we're going. I like my paint to be very crisp, where I can see the dark and the light, the green and the white, so there's nothing wrong with wiping off your brush and then reloading, okay? You don't have to rinse, you just wipe it off. Okay, so, just to kind of recap, because we're gonna come over here and practice our wiggle, which will be very much the same shape. The only difference is we're gonna rotate our, we're gonna kind of zigzag our brush a little bit, but same shape. So we started with our V, 
green was on top and then is the outside as you're coming around. So you start with that V and you rotate around as you're pulling towards you. Then you do the other side. You rotate around as you're pulling towards you. Okay. All right. We're going to come back and let's reload. And now we're just going to add a little wiggle, which is kind of fun. All right. So we're going to dip. Same thing. One corner in the green, one corner in the white. Swoosh it back and forth. Remember, I'm just picking. I didn't rinse my brush or anything. I just wiped it off and picking up fresh paint so it's nice and clear where we can see the fun part of double loading, where you get color highlight shading all in one stroke and you have darks and lights and it's just a really cool method. Okay, so I'm back to my blending spot. Okay, so we're gonna do, let me see if I can raise this just a little bit so you can get a feel for the wiggle. Okay, we're gonna do wiggles here. You guys, same thing, we're starting the same way. I'm gonna tap that little V. Okay, remember how we had the V there just for starting. Now the difference is we are going to do a wiggle as we're coming around this corner and then we'll still slide at the bottom but the top is what gives you this wiggle okay so you guys can kind of see the shape there okay so let's practice that again straight up and down our green is on top we're going to do the same thing i'm going to do the right and then i'm going to do the left this time though instead of just sliding we're going to kind of shimmy our brush as we go and let me show you what i mean we'll do this one a couple times so you can kind of get a feel Okay, so we're up on that edge. We're going to lay it down just like we did before. But instead of just rotating this time, now I'm going to rotate and then pull towards me. Okay, let me do it on this side. So same thing. Instead of just doing a smooth rotating like we did before, we are going to wiggle. And you guys, let me see if I can, let me do one here just so you can see. The wiggle is just basically those brushes... The, the bristles are pushed down. You're just kind of doing a little, Donna Dewberry used to call it scrubbing the floor. Okay. So scrub, 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 scrub. So you're still rotating. It's the same thing we did, but you're just giving it a little wiggle. All right. Let me pick up some more paint and let's do this other side. So remember our V, we did the right hand side. Now I'm going to come and I'm going to wiggle as I'm rotating around and then slide to pull down. And remember, as we're sliding to pull down, you lift. All right, let's do this again together. All right, I'm going to start one here. So here's my V, so I know where I'm starting. Okay, green is on top. Remember, before we just rotated. Now we are going to rotate, but we are going to wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then slide down. Remember, you lift up to get that point. I'm going to do the left side. So you're up on that edge. We are going to... Wiggle, 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 and then pull down. So your wiggle goes around like the top half, and then you pull down to slide like we did on our heart-shaped leaves. We just add a little wiggle. I'm going to do another one here so we can kind of see that. And let's practice together again. And you guys, the beauty of watching this at home on YouTube is that you can stop, rewind, stop, rewind, stop, rewind, which is wonderful. Um because sometimes just practicing this wiggle, and I'm gonna show you what I recommend as you're practicing, but sometimes this takes a little bit. So, you know, here's just a smooth slide. So those are a little bit easier. And then you come in, same shape, you just add the wiggle. The more you practice, the better it will get, I promise. Okay, I'm gonna come here, we're gonna do our V. Same thing we did. You're gonna start up in the brush, you're gonna lay it down to the side. I'm going to wiggle, 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 wiggle get to where it looks about like a seashell and then you will slide down towards yourself and lift up okay pick up a little more paint blend okay green is on the top we're going to lean it down to the side i'm going to wiggle 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 and then pull down and lift up okay you can see kind of the shape there so both heart shape leaves one is more smooth and one has the wiggle. And you guys, this wiggle spot, like we talked about, let me grab a little paint, almost just looks like a seashell, okay? So you start and you just wiggle as you bring it around. And do you see the white never moved? It's just that top of the brush that you're wiggling. So when you're first practicing, it wouldn't hurt to do a bunch of these like seashells wiggle those. And then once you're feeling good about the wiggle, 
now you make a leaf. So you do that top wiggle, which if you look, let's see if I can kind of cover it up. If you look, that top part there is that same seashell. And then we just slide down to do what we did. Okay, let's do one more thing. We need to add some stems to our leaves. And to do that, we are gonna grab our little skinny liner brush. Okay, now this brush is a little different. It's very small, it's very narrow. It actually works like a pen or a pencil. So to load the paint, you do something a little different too. We don't swoosh it like we did the big brush. You're gonna just dip it in, okay? Tap it in the paint, and then you're gonna roll it. And if you can see my thumb and my pointer kind of rolling it. So you dip it in, roll it, and what that does, it works the paint into the brush, but it keeps that point real narrow. Okay, so you just dip it in and kind of roll it. And then you can see there's a lot of paint on there, but it's a little skinny brush, so it only it only holds so much, but that's how you'll get it in there and keep that point nice and narrow. Okay, so let's add some stems. Now, it's up to you guys how you wanna do it. Some people start at the leaf and come out. I tend to start above and come into the leaf. And just using this brush, you're just gonna be right on the edge. Remember, it's like a pen or a pencil. It's good if you hold it kind of down towards the silver ferrule part there. Just gives you good control. People who have painted with me before have heard this before. If you stick your pinky out, it gives you a little bit of a, a lighter touch. It's also, we call it fancy painting when we're painting together in person. But just, you know, pinky out, come. You're just going to draw a line and come from outside the leaf and come in. It does not go all the way down the leaf. It just kind of goes a little bit onto the leaf here. Okay, so I'm just going to come here. And then we'll do one here. Now again, if you're more comfortable starting at the leaf and going up, that's perfectly fine. Find what works best for you. For me, for whatever reason, a lot of times I will have flowers, and I'll show you where, how we do leaves next to the flowers, but we'll have flowers or vines, and I like to attach from the flower or from the vine coming out. But whatever method works best for you, try it both ways and see what you think. Okay, and I just went over here and picked up some more paint because that's one thing about this brush. It's very little, so it doesn't hold a huge amount of paint. So you do have to sort of you know, dip in and, and twirl it around fairly often, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna be here. I'm just gonna come and draw right on the edge. So from outside coming in, and then from the outside coming in, okay? All right, and then there's our little stems. Okay, so let's just kinda recap real quick. Remember, we started, these are both heart-shaped leaf. One is smooth, one has a wiggle, okay? You started with pouncing that V, and then you go down each side. So this was down the right-hand side and down the left. The green is always on the outside, and so your brush will rotate. So you started up towards the top, and then you come down. Okay, so we did a couple of those. The only difference on these guys is rather than rotating smooth, you just give it that little bit of up and down, that little bit of wiggle. Okay, and it better be the same way. You come around the right, come around the left. And the best way to practice is do these little seashells. Just practice these little wiggles. Start on one side. Now, if you're left-handed on the leaves, it, it works out because we go both ways. But just practicing the wiggle, just to get that started, you would probably start on the right and wiggle to the left. Now, again, I have left-handed that have painted with me for years, and they, they each kind of find their own way. So right-handed, we usually start on the left, wiggle to the right. If you're left-handed, try start on the right and wiggle to the left and see if that works for you. Okay, so let me show you. Um, we kind of looked at the wine glass earlier. The wine glass is kind of a combination. We've got some wiggle leaves. We also have some basic leaves. And if you haven't um, painted the basic leaf, I do have a video. I highly recommend you check that one out. This is just what we call a one stroke leaf or a real basic leaf. So I have a video that will walk you through that. And like this little stemless wine glass is just kind of a combination. Now here's the interesting thing, you guys. If you look, here's the leaf we've been painting, right? So here's our green, greens on the outside as you wiggle. On this one, all I did was flip the brush. So rather than having our green on the outer edge, I had the white on the outside and the green on the inside. And that's the difference just by how you flip that brush and how you hold it. So in this case, the white's on the outside, green's on the inside. On this one, green's on the outside, white's on the inside. So just kind of cool, same leaf, just how you hold the brush makes the difference in how that looks. Now we talked about how to add the leaves um, next to flowers. So when you're doing a leaf, you basically wanna build next to the flower out, okay? So if you look at this guy, here's our V, here's where we started. 
and it just kind of right next to the flower. So you'll wiggle to the right, wiggle to the left. Okay, same here. Here's your V and we're gonna start, we would wiggle this side and then wiggle and slide this side. Okay, so always start with the base or the top of the leaf next to your flower. A lot of times people will put like a leaf over here and over here, but eh, you really, my personal preference is that you have it right next to the flower so it makes sense where it is, okay? This one, just so you guys know, is the green, same green we're using, um, the classic green, and then instead I mix yellow instead of white. So you can kind of see the, the color difference there between doing green and white and green and yellow. But next to the warm colors of the sunflower, I think the green and yellow really look look nice. So, Okay, you guys, that is it. I'm so glad we got to paint leaves together today. I hope it was fun. Let me lift this wax paper so you can see it just a little bit closer and from a different angle here. And here's all of our fun practicing. Okay. Just the, the sliding, the wiggle, and this shell shape, this wiggle shape that if you just practice that, you know, a few hundred times, you'll be feeling good. <laughs> you'll be feeling good about practicing it. But thanks, you guys, so much. I'm so glad we got to paint leaves together. This was very fun. Um, if you enjoyed the video, if you would consider hitting that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. Remember, all the supplies that we use, the brushes, the sizes, the colors of paint um, will be listed in the video description. So you have that to refer back to as well as all the supplies we use. Those are in there for you. Um, if you would consider subscribing to my channel, I would greatly appreciate that way you'll be notified when new videos get uploaded and you'll get to see all the fun things we're painting. Um, and as always, if there's any questions or comments or anything that I can answer for you, or if there's something you'd like to see on a video, please, please, please send me a, a message if that's easier or list it in the comment below. Um, I would love to hear from you. So thanks you guys so much. I hope you have a great day. Take care.